Yes, today's my night. I get to go in that bank and steal all the money they have. First, I'm going to put my bomb there so I, it will explode the front door. Now, I just got to wait five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now, I can go in and get everything. Yes, I got the money. It's right here. Everything. I better get going. Oh no, I see the guard running behind me. Try to catch me. He jumps, but he misses. And the robber keeps running away. The robber tries again, but he falls face flat on the ground. The robber keeps running and the guard call, calls the cops. The two cops arrive. One cop, one cop leaves their car to get the bomb to identify what bomb it is. The robber runs around the guard and jumps into the police car and just starts going away. And, at the, and the other guard jumps in and they start following each other. But the guard was lost, and they, he didn't know where the robber went. So he decided he would interview people the next day. The guard saw a person coming in. He said, hello there, how's your day? That The other man said, it's great. The guard said, how, how, how did you go today? It was great, and the man said, what are you looking for? And the guard said, have you ever, have you ever seen a police car going around like crazy and a boom sound last night? No, I have only hear my boom sound from my steam shovel. What's the steam shovel, he said. It's that machine. Oh, well that's cool. Well, have a great day, sir. The, the next hour, he saw a man on a motorcycle entering the bank. He said, hello there, how's your day? The man said, it's okay. How's yours? The guard said, so-so. And the guard said, have you ever seen a robber riding a police car and... Have you heard a boom sound last night? He said, yes, sir. I have heard a boom sound and I've seen the robber. The robber was heading to 19th Avenue South. Well, thank you, car. Well, thank you. We'll be heading that way. They see, they see the robber running away and the guard jumps up and tackles him down. Well, when the money comes out of his pocket, the robber says, please, I don't want to go to jail. But the guard said, now why did you steal it? And the robber was silent for 15 minutes. So he just handcuffed him and, brung, and took the money and returned the money and took him to jail. The end.